Hey guys, Carly here with We Print Wraps. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to panel and output a wrap for print. Alright, so here's a uh, basic design I kind of just threw together that was for fun. You saw in my last tutorial um, getting started on designing with templates. So here is the design completed. Um, I have the driver, passenger, front, back, and hood. Um, I didn't plan on wrapping the roof of this van, so I didn't use the roof. Um, to design on but here we go. I got everything right here I'm gonna kind of go over the basics on how I got started on the design if you go down to my layers um, Normally, I always get started with these three layers when designing a vehicle wrap. I got my background my text and logos and my template um, Layers can add up to how many ever you want depending on how detailed your wrap is and how things you want to uh, to stack on top of each other, but for this one I just used three so as you can see, my background layer has my background art, which is all the fun, crazy stuff. Uh, text and logos layers is just, I have just logos, but normally when designing a wrap, maybe you add a phone number, a website, whatever you like. Um, and then my template layer. And it's just nice to have these three things separate so when you're grabbing things and dragging and dropping, you don't accidentally select the background when you want or accidentally move the template. Um, so I always, only keep the layer I'm working on unlocked unless I need to move everything together at one time and I'll unlock them all right so here we go and then when I get ready to output a wrap for print I go ahead and create a new layer so I'm gonna go down to the bottom right corner and create new layer I'm gonna label this panels okay so here we go I'm gonna start with the uh, passenger side correct all right, so when I get started on paneling out a wrap, I actually um, physically measured this van myself. Um, I like to make sure that my panels are always gonna fit. So if possible, if I can, um, I will measure the vehicle just to make sure that I get enough bleed in certain areas. Um, this cargo van is a very uh, typical van that people wrap, so that's why I decided to design on this van. Um, all right, so let's get started. I like to start, there's many different ways you can output a wrap for print, but this is just the way I do it. Keep that in mind. Um, okay, so I like to start with my rectangle tool and I'm gonna go ahead and go to my fill and stroke and I'm gonna go pick crazy color. I already have lots of crazy colors in the design. I don't have lime green, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and change it to the the stroke color, so I'm gonna make a very uh, vibrant green, which is kind of hard to do in CYMK. Sometimes RGB makes it a little more bright. Okay, so the first panel I'm gonna start with is the fender. So when designing um, or getting ready to set up your panels on a template, you're gonna, I'm actually gonna get rid of the background layer right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hide that because it's kind of hard to see the lines on the vehicle and how to get started on this, so. Boom, background's gone. I'm gonna zoom in. First panel, or thinking our quarter panel up here, front fender. So I need the wrap to cover the whole front fender. So if that's gonna be one of my panels, I'm covering all the way. I'm gonna thicken up my strokes so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, all you see there's a break here. So I want the wrap to make sure to cover all the way up to that break, and there's another break here. So I want it to cover all around that break. Um, I physically me measured this front fender and I know from here all the way to the front is 39.2 inches and I designed the 10% uh, scale so I'm going to go up here to my measurements and it's saying 40, 4.035 so 40.35 so that's pretty close to the measurement I got since I got 39 it's an inch and usually templates do maybe give you a little bit of a bigger measurement because they want to make sure you get that extra bleed accounted for. Okay, so I like to add normally like two inches to each side of my panel just so I have wiggle room. And um, in case when the installer is installing the wrap, then they have extra space to work with in case they move the wrap forward or backwards due to some, something just came up and it's a complication and you need, you need to make adjustments. So um, right now the panel is at 40 inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to 4.4 which is 44 inches and then the height on this panel is 33.3 .3. so 
So I'm gonna 33 plus four, I'm gonna do 37. All right, so there we are, that's our first panel. And then so now I'm gonna go and draw another rectangle on the van. Um, I wanna make sure to cover all the way, all right, to the top. Okay, so I wanna go all the way to this break, all the way to the bottom, all the way to the top. I know physically that this van is 66 inches tall and right here it's saying that it is 65.7 so once again the template's pretty close i know this door is um 41 and a half inches wide right now it's saying larger than that because i didn't do just the door so um actually now my measurement lines up pretty close but i want it to go all the way to here so we make sure we cover this space in that break Okay, so it's saying it's about 44 and a half inches wide. So I'm gonna go ahead, four inches to that, and I'm gonna go ahead and go 4.85, 40 and a half. And then the height, um, I know the height of this van is 66. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change up to 66 plus four. So then that goes to 70. So I'm gonna just put a seven. All right, for the next panel, so this is where it gets tricky because our max print is, well our printer prints 54 inch um, rolls, but our max print is only 53 and a half because it can't just, it, the printer can't just print completely to edge to edge of the film. So um, this door I have the measurement for and it's 56 inches wide. So that's a little larger than the printer can print. So in this case, this is what I do, we're gonna have to there's gonna be, have to be a seam in the wrap. We're gonna to have to panel it every 53 and a half inches. Um, unless we had a 60 inch roll, then that would be a different story, but we don't, we only have 54. So um, I know, I'm gonna grab my rectangle, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same height since I know that's the right amount of bleed. And I'm gonna drag it all the way to the end. So I have, this is 56, and then this next panel is actually 59 and then half. So what I normally do, I go 56 plus 59.5. I'm adding up on the calculator real quick. 100, oh, 56 plus 59.5. Is it coming out to like 115.5 inches? So 116. My measurement up here is saying it's 117, pretty damn close. So I'm gonna go, um, Normally it's about 116, so 11.6. My stroke's a little too thick for my liking. All right, so this is a, a big panel. Um, normally I just send it, I can send it to the rip and our production manager will just tile it every 53 inches, but I wanna teach you guys how to do it so that you know how to panel exactly the whole entire wrap. So I'm gonna change the color of this one just so we can see. I'm just kind of making this the safe zone of the panels so it's 116 plus 4 I'm going to make it 120 and it's 70 inches tall so you can see it will cover um, over to the front door and to the back all right so now I am going actually scratch that I'm going to go back control Z um, if you want the wrap to continue around to the back so over here on this corner of the van I'm gonna go ahead and color it just so you can see. Um, sometimes people want the wrap design on the side to flow around to the back. In this case, this is actually what I do want. And I know that back little corner is 0.8 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, make the width of this rectangle 0.8. I'm gonna take it from the back of the van to um, that break. And I know that that's with bleed, or well, not with bleed but the, the length around that corner. So I'm gonna take my big rectangle and I'm gonna drag it all the way to here. So now, and now I'm gonna to have to add the bleed to the width. So it's saying it's 125.4, I'm gonna add four. Um, I'll just make it 130 to be safe. And now we have our safe zone to work in. So now we need a panel at every 53 and a half inches. So I'm just gonna actually alt, grab this re rectangle, drag it over. I'm gonna change the width to 53.5 because that's my max print. Um, I'm gonna shrink the stroke up so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna, so now we have our green rectangles again. 
So I know one panel. So I'm going to make them all panel within the blue rectangle. So now I'm taking these green rectangles and I'm paneling every 53 inches. And then the last one is going to be a little small panel because it's not. So then, and then I'm going to drag it in. And then I'm going to get rid of that blue rectangle, the big blue one if I can grab it. There we go. All right, so right here is where all our seams are going to be. Um, so there'll be one right through the P and then on to the back. All right, so there we go. This is one whole side panel out with bleed. Scratch that. <laughs> All right, so now a thing I messed up on is I need to make sure there's overlap. So, all right, I need to grab this middle panel and I need to drag it over. So now these two panels are overlapping. It depends on how big of a overlap you want. Typically we do like a half inch. And then I'm gonna have to go to this back panel and I'm gonna have to drag it over and give it some overlap. So now that we, that's where the seams will be actually. All right, so I'm gonna just go change the strokes all the same. I'm gonna align these all together and there we go. Now we have our panels of how everything's gonna look. I'm gonna go ahead and put that background back on um, so you can see it. So I'm actually gonna just make this, um, all right, so so now to get it to the other side, um, this is the way I like to do it. I go to the template layer and I unlock it. I take my um, group selection tool. Normally, this little arrow is on the direct selection tool, but I'm gonna hold down on the arrow and go to group selection. I'm gonna grab the edge of the van. You can see all the little points. It means I got the outside of the van. I'm gonna hit Control C on a PC, copy, and then I'm gonna lock my template layer and I'm gonna go to my panels layer and I wanna paste in place. Object or edit, paste in place. So right now you can't, you can you can see I got the whole van. I'm gonna go ahead and change the fill to black and I'm gonna um, send that to back. And so now I'm gonna copy and paste these layers and flip them and put them on the other side of the van. So I don't have to do all those steps over again. So I'm gonna select everything here I'm gonna control C, control V, copy, paste, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go um, object or right click, transform, reflect. And then I'm gonna do vertically 90 degrees and hit okay, and there it goes. It just flipped everything the opposite direction. Now I'm gonna take, oops, I unclicked it and drag this the outlines of the van to the other side of the van exactly in the place and then I'll delete the, the black fill and there we go now I got panels on both sides of the van all right on to the back uh, okay I'm going to paint. so the bleed that I counted for over here is actually gonna you know come around and cover all the way with some bleed over here so I don't have to worry about these corners if you want, you can also output those little corners separately. Um, it's up to you. But I'm not gonna do that. So I know that these doors on the back of this van are about 55 and a half inches tall and 31, about 32 inches wide. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle on the template and uh, the measurements are coming out and saying 54 by about 32 too. So that's perfect. So now I'm going to add 32 plus Four is 36 and then the height is 54 I'm going to change it to 58 I'm going to draw another rectangle for the other door you know right around exactly to the edge of the door and then I'm going to change that to 36 by 58 and there we go we got the panels for the doors so also something um, you might want to think about is if you want put window perf you would then take other boxes and draw them around the windows and then you would add your bleed, and I do the same thing, I add about two inches to all sides, but I'm not gonna do one to perfect this band. All right, so unclick. And then, so I just showed the front design so you can um, get a better front angle of what the wrap would kind of look like, but yeah, I had to scrunch it and kind of make it look more like it's part of the wrap, but there was an undistorted hood part of the template in the wrap, and um, that's right here. So, 
the hoods sometimes could be a little more difficult. So also, I like to physically measure hoods because, um, right? So when you measure hood, most people he measure from the center down. What they don't realize is that there's actually like uh, this curve in a hood. So there's actually a, usually a lot more bleed that needs to be added to the top. Um, so I... So I, what I do is I measure, and I have the measurement of 26 by 66. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw that box and see, oops, 66 by 2.6. And like, that's cause I measured from the middle to the bottom. So look, at it, it's pretty much almost matching up. But I also wrote in my notes of the measurements, that I said add three inches to the top. So it's about three or four inches you need to add to the top. So uh, 26 plus three is 29. I'll drag this box, it's starting from the bottom, moving to the top. The template says a little more, so I can just drag it all the way up to here and it's saying it like 32. Okay, so 66 plus four is 70, so seven. And then 32 plus four is 36. So there we go, I got my panel for my hood. And so, look at that guys. So now I kind of have like a little preview of how everything's gonna look before I actually start doing my clipping mask. And um, you can kind of do this in the same file, you can open a new file. Sometimes I like to just go file, new, new document. Um, you wanna make sure that you go into more city, more settings and that you're in your CYMK since I designed in CYMK. I'm gonna go ahead and just la label it WPW um, passenger. And so here we go, I got my new document but I'm gonna go back to my design document and I'm gonna go and unlock every layer but my template layer because I want all the artwork but my template. So, and then I'm gonna select the whole passenger side. I'm gonna control C, copy. I'm gonna to go to my new document and I'm gonna control V, paste. Okay, so to get this paneled out now, I need to um, release the clipping mask on my background so that now we have the, all the art visible. So, so I'm gonna right click on this um, clipping mask of all the artwork for the background. I'm gonna hit release clipping mask. And there we go. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five panels. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take this artwork and hold down my Alt key and drag it over to copy it. And I'm gonna co keep copying and paste it until I have um, five. Oops, I just need one more. Five panels. Okay, so here we go. Now, so I'm gonna actually, I'll start from the front. So I'm gonna go with my first quarter panel. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these other boxes because right now I only want this one, the green. I'm gonna go ahead and switch the fill to green so you can see the box. I'm gonna select all my artwork and I'm gonna right click and hit make clipping mask. And there we go, oh, there's my first panel. So now I wanna go to the front door. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all the other panels I don't want and the one only one I want. I'm gonna select all my artwork and I'm gonna right click and make clipping mask. And now I'm gonna drag this closer to over there. Now I'm gonna start on my third panel. Whoops, accidentally deleted the background. Control Z. <laughs> All right, and ah, delete my last panel. Okay, select all, um, make clipping mask. So another thing that's also really important is that you want to make sure that your panels, cause it was on the top layer, it's gonna be on the top. You want to make sure these green lines are always on the top. That's how you make a clipping mask because a clipping mask clips everything behind it. So I'm going to select all, right click, make clipping mask. And then now I just got my last panel. Delete all these other ones. Go over, make clipping mask. All right, so there we go. Now you can see I got all my panels lined up. Um, looking really good. 
So now I'm going to put them on their own artboards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and highlight them all, drag my mouse over, select them all. I'm going to select my artboard tool and I'm going to click on a solid area of the clipping mask. So I'm going to click on the pink because um, sometimes if you click on other things, then it will only put an artboard around that object if it's like a small thing. So here we go, clicking on, um, now I'm going to click on the yellow and oops, I accidentally clicked twice. So I had two artboards and I'm going to go delete this other old artboard. And then sometimes I always like to go to my artboards over here down by my layers. If you can't find it, you just go to window, go to artboards and make sure that I have just as many layers as I have as artboards because if you double click on one and then you send it to print and then you accidentally got two panels printed twice and that's just a lot of material you don't want to waste. So I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So then I'll file save this as um, a PDF and I just leave all the settings. So that's about it. I'm going to go, I can start, I'll just drag my hood and doors in, um, back doors to kind of show you how I do those ones. You know, uh, release clipping mask. Oops, I'm not on the clipping mask, that's why. So I need a release clipping mask. And so now you see I have the yellow as a background of the hood, but I don't have it as the whole background of the wrap. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Um, since I had the yellow object selected last, it filled it with yellow, but I'm going to go uh, right click, tra or transform, no, object, arrange, send it back. So now i got an orange background behind that, and I'm going to make clipping mask. So there's my hood, and then for the back doors, I go right click, release clipping mask, or you can go to object, clipping mask, release, um, and then I need two doors, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that over, delete each of one of the doors, and select all, make clipping masks, select all, make clipping masks, and there's the back doors. Alright, so that's all it I got for you today. I hope um, I taught you something new. You know, like I said, there's so many different ways you can do this. This is just the way I prefer to do it. Um, sometimes it does get a little hard when um, you have a lot of layers and a lot of objects or big images or things in your file. Um, sometimes when I make a clipping mask, I'll um, not select everything. I'm going to go ahead and release this so I can actually, I'm going to grab the back one. I'll release it and show you, but maybe I'll just grab where the actual like panel is and make clipping mask. And then maybe some things will be left out of that clipping mask, but as long as they're not in the panel, it's not a big deal. So then you're not adding a whole bunch of things um, to your file. But all right, see you next time.